So Estonia has been on our bucket list for the longest time. Oh, it just feels so cool that we're finally here. So all dressed up, medieval music, no electricity. So we're gonna eat by candlelight. <coughs> wow, that is strong. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new country. We've just arrived in Estonia. We're gonna be spending the next 48 hours exploring the city of Tallinn. And we've just come out, done a bit of a hike to the viewpoint, and wow, this looks like a fairy tale. Like, this it? is our first view of Tallinn. So beautiful. You can just see the red and the orange rooftops. We have a cathedral over there. The sea is just out there. I mean, this city is just built on such a picture perfect spot. So, Estonia may be one of the smallest countries here in Europe, but it is so rich in history. The old town dates back to the 13th century and so many of the buildings are still intact from the medieval time. So Estonia has been on our bucket list for the longest time and you can see why. Oh, it just feels so cool that we're finally here. I can smell the cinnamon dripping through the door already. Forever looking out for a cinnamon bun, and I think we've found a good one. Look at this. This little bakery, it has a fully open kitchen, so you can see them all baking their goods. They have huge cups of hot chocolate, so um, I think we're sorted for the morning. I think we're sorted for the morning. That's the best one I've had. I mean, it doesn't get fresher than literally right there on that table. I mean, you can't help but buy one when the goods are just smelling so amazing. It's right in front of you. Come for some hot chockies. Cheers. Cheers. So something really cool about Tallinn is that their Christmas markets actually start in November and run it through January. So it means that if you're coming to Europe and still want to get the Christmassy vibe, come to Tallinn because you can actually see the Christmas markets for way longer than the other cities. These markets are so nice. Right in front of the town hall, they have different warm gear, food, hot drink. And I think this is like the quietest markets we've been to. Like you can actually move. <laughs> oh, I like your new hat. I like it too. Try this and tell me what you think of it. Blue van. Try it. Yeah. It's really strong. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is very nice. Have a sip. Just sip it. Come on. Sip you it. Sip it. <laughs> Come on! You have to take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he drinks alcohol a lot. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago we were in Finland and we tried glugi for the very first time. And when we were there we kind of saw these little bowls and thought, hey, these are pre-dinner snacks. <laughs> found out we were totally wrong because you guys let us know that you meant to put the sultanas, the nuts and the oranges inside the glugi. So we redeemed ourselves here in Estonia. We got it, we topped it up as you should. So then once you've drunk your glugi, you're meant to eat the little snacks at the bottom. Not before it. <coughs> wow, that is strong. <laughs> okay, it's snack time now. Jess is doing her first purchase of the market, some new gloves. Picked up a couple of Christmassy gloves. They look nice. A lot of people say that here in Tallinn, this Christmas tree is the most famous Christmas tree in the world because Tallinn was the first place to ever put a public Christmas tree. And ever since then, they've been putting it here in the centre of the town. And it's pretty cool to finally see it in person. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> This room is so cute. We're from Australia. Italia. Australia. Australia. Yes. Australia. Yeah. Oh, very yes. Fast. <laughs> All right. Bye, Santa. Bye. Bye. Thank bye, you. Santa. So early today, we saw this really cool building and went up to it and found out it's a medieval restaurant. So they basically serve everything that they ate back in the medieval times. They're all dressed up, medieval music, no electricity. So we're going to eat by candlelight. So we decided to book a table and we're heading there now for dinner. Oh, yes, this guy. 
So we've just been served some water in this ceramic jug. <laughs> it looks so cool. It looks like it should be filled with wine. She says or back mead. in the and she also said back in the day everyone ate with their hands. So if you actually see on the glass, there's all these ribs here. So it means that if you got oily hands, you can still pick up the glass without it slipping out. Viva! Viva! Viva. Viva. Thank you. And I have three mushrooms. So the first thing we've ordered is forest mushroom soup and then they've served it up with a big plate full of bread. And this is a type of cheese. And look at what they serve it in. It's like this big ceramic bowl with legs. <laughs> so I wonder if that's how they had their bowls back in the day. Could have been. This is so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is humongous. This is like a face. Look at this. It's like the way. Here's my hand. You can really see. How big it is. Oh my gosh, that is so good. All right. Dig in, everyone. I am so full, guys. If you go there, the serving sizes are massive and so tasty. In true medieval fashion, they are huge. And the service was so good. Like we weren't too sure what to expect, but I definitely recommend if you come to Tallinn, go have dinner there. It was amazing. And then, just as we finished our meal, live like medieval music came up. They were using like instruments that they would back in the first century. It was really cool. It was like a whole experience. I definitely recommend you guys go and check it out. And then just turn around. Look at our view right now. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> Morning guys, it is the next day and our final day here in Tallinn. We've just woken up in our apartment. Accommodation here is so cheap. We have such a nice apartment with a full living room, kitchen, sauna, yeah. bathroom, two bedrooms and the old town, it's just over there. It is amazing. Oh, and we have our own balcony. So we're out exploring Tallinn and we just went and had brunch at such a good cafe. I definitely recommend it. Get the soup. It is amazing. And we are now going up into one of the towers. So if you didn't know, Tallinn is actually a walled city. So there's a wall covering Old Town and then there's all these towers and there's one open where you can actually go up. And I've heard that there are tunnels underneath the city that you can go into as well. Ready to go into the tunnels? Yep. So cool. Did one just move? Did one just move? So these tunnels are over 300 years old and the way that they've done all the tunnels as a museum, as you walk through, they show how Estonians use the tunnels through the different years, including the war time where they'd come down here because of course this is Bastion Tunnel, so of course there's a fortress above us which we're going to go up to next. This is how they used it during the war. So it looks like they've recovered some tombstones, some artifacts from the rubble after the city was bombed in the war. That was actually so interesting to see. They were built 300 years ago, but they were really mostly used in more modern times during like the Second World War and leading up to here. They've done it really well. There's actually a couple of exhibits you can do, so you can go underneath the ground into the tunnels that we just did. And the second one is you can actually go up, up the Maiden Tower, which should give us some good views of the area. But yeah, we're currently in the cellar. Slowly make our way up. Almost at the top, and I can see you can get a nice view of the city here. So say the tower we just climbed is one of the largest artillery towers in the Baltic area that we're currently in. So we've got Jess cooking up ooh, some homemade minestrone soup and just over here and I found these two in here. You coming in Steve? Yeah. There's a spot for you. Let's steam it up. Oh you just steamed it. Woo! Woo! Get your costume on there. Steve, get in there. I'm cold out here at all. I've just got the crazy kids in there while I'm trying to cook them soup. <laughs> Is it cold out there? It's cold out here. 
<laughs> and we're ending this all here in beautiful skin Hungary. And winter has definitely hit Hungary. It's good. That's good green. Wait, I need to get some of the chimney cake, ready?